Warning, pest control video ahead. Please do not watch if you are a snowflake. Hey guys, welcome back to Team Foxer. In this episode, we're out on the foxes. And as is often the case, it's always a good idea to test your rifle's accuracy as often as possible because, you, of course, you're after a humane kill. Now, in the last box of ammunition I've had, I've had a couple of misfires. So I fired the rest of that box and had one or two more. And it actually cost me a couple of foxes in the last fortnight or so. So I've come down to my usual spot on the farm, put a box with a target on it, good 120 paces this way rifle on the uh, truck here and we're gonna put a few rounds down and see how this box is different batch number so this is why it's a good idea to test it out let's see how we get on Well, the first couple of rounds looked really low so I brought it up a few clicks put another five in and I hope now that we've got some groups that centre around the bullseye and I won't go and shoot anything live unless I know it's you know shooting that at least golf ball size groups at that distance well nearly here. let's see how we did and then I got the group a little bit tighter here came up another click pretty sure I pulled that one so I'm gonna bang another couple in and if I can get them like that one there happy days so after putting several rounds down and becoming quite happy with the level of accuracy I decided to bosh a couple of rocks off the top of my box Yep, that'll do me. Knock this box over. Okay, so it's a couple of nights later and I'm on the farm. It's time to start lamping from the truck solo mission tonight. Uh, I've managed to get a few rounds down which I'm happy with. So we'll stick with those and see how tonight goes. Fingers crossed making my way slowly but surely through all of the fields I spotted a set of eyes a couple of fields away so I decided at this location I would get out and try and get the fox to come to me using the Icotec GC500 caller. Now testament to the build quality of the Icotec caller, I've driven off now and it's fallen off the roof twice, twice. so I've super glued some magnets to the bottom of it so that it sticks to the roof of the truck, so if I do drive off it's not going anywhere.
Personally, I find one of the best things to do is to try and mimic the natural environment for the fox. So at this time of year we've got predominantly um, stubble fields to go on, so I use rodent calls. Of, uh, it's just a type of natural quarry that they would be out hunting for themselves. So I use those type of calls to try and get the foxes to come to us. There is our fox indeed, but uh, this one is not playing ball and is not one bit interested in the caller. He just gives it a glance over his shoulder and buggers off into the undergrowth, not to be seen again. The one other thing the rodent calls do is they tend to bring in quite a good number of owls, and it's always lovely to see a good number of owls in the surrounding areas. This is a first for me. At first glance I thought it was a rabbit stood on its hind legs, but then I realised it was uh, too gangly for that even, so with a bit of extra IR I was able to identify that as a heron. There you go. Moving on to the next location, and this time we had a little bit more luck. Using the same tactic, this fox actually came in quite well, although it did take some seven minutes to actually get within range. Don't worry, I've chopped the clips down considerably to not bore you to death, and you can see the outcome in just a moment. typical finally gets within range and stops uh, in front of the farmhouse so I can't take it there obviously I've got to wait for it to move again and there we go uh, next time it stops where I can see enough of it is the time to take the shot Yeah. Having heard the shot and being quite close to his house, the farmer came out to see what I was up to, and uh, lo and behold, he was very chuffed. We now have a guest clip from John at Nightside using his trusty Nightside Eagle, and this here goes to show how keeping you cool can still result in a shot, even if you think the fox is going to bugger off. How many times have you heard this work? Hey. Good shot and great footage. Thank you for that, John. Okay, moving on, I see another fox now on a field that isn't actually mine, but what I do know is that in the distance, once it goes through that field, it's on my permission, so I hastily get back in the car, move around the farm to the other side and head off the fox. I don't actually get the shot on film here, but uh, you will see me retrieving it because it's uh, in a field of greens and I had to get out really quickly, get on the bonnet, uh, and take the shot. So uh, you won't actually see the shot here, but you will see the result of which, uh, of uh, in a second you'll see, was a rather large dog fox. Good size. So yes, it was indeed a nice big dog fox, and I'm sure that one would have done some damage to the uh, to the wild pheasant population on this particular shoot. The farmer of which here likes to see uh, exactly what gets shot on his land. So on this particular farm, I uh, package them up in a nice little neat plastic box and leave them for him on his doorstep, which is quite handy for me, not having to visit the other farm and lob them in the incinerator. So on the way home, I stopped off at the farm shop and lo and behold, bumped into another couple of foxes playing around in this field. However, um, they weren't playing ball and weren't coming into the call, so we're going to have to leave these ones for another night.
Okay, so well, those will have to wait for another time. As I wrap up my own video for this week, would you please go and take a look at my good friend Mark Brannan's YouTube channel. He's put up a couple of cracking videos so far, and I'm sure that will grow from strength to strength. I myself have a scope video coming up very soon, but for now, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow the instant action on Instagram, team underscore foxer. Take care, stay safe, and as always, happy shooting.